in this demonstration, we're going to use MATLAB to integrate this differential equation, dy dt equals 2 minus ty, with an initial condition y of 0 equal to 1. We previously had done this by hand and uh, tabulated the, the results. The exact solution is uh, given here as well. We're now going to demonstrate using Euler's method with a simple ordinary differential equation. In front of me is a function called demo Euler that uses the Euler's method in the form of the ODE Euler function. The ODE Euler function implements Euler's method for an arbitrary right-hand side function f of y. The f of y function is passed in as the first argument diff eq, and we assume that the user supplies tn, h, and y0. This code first creates a t vector from tn, the total time interval, and h, the step size. It preallocates the y vector for um, efficiency, and then it loops over the time steps from 2 to n. The first time step value is given y0 here when we initialize the y vector. So we create the entire y vector. The first value, y1, is the initial condition. We simply evaluate the right-hand side function with this indirect function call and apply Euler's method. It's very straightforward. The demo Euler function accepts h as an input. This is the step size, so it solves this fixed problem. The, the problem, or the differential equation, I should say, is defined in this embedded function here. It's a easy way to pass the definition of a function into another function. The dy dt line is the only active line in the, the embedded function. It simply says evaluate t minus 2 times y and return that whenever some other function calls with a value of t and a value of y. We call it RHS for right hand side. We initialize the time interval tn and the initial condition y0. We call ODE Euler with this set of input parameters. The first one at right hand side is a function handle to this embedded function. Tn is the total time interval, h is the step size, y0 is the initial condition, and the ODE Euler function returns two values, or I should say two vectors, t and y. The next line, yex, evaluates the exact solution, which we know, and the rest of this function uh, prints out first a table of y values for Euler's method and the exact, as well as the error, and then it prints out a value of the maximum error. So there's no plotting or anything. So we can just type demo Euler. The result is this table. Uh, the last column is the errors. Here's the function, and the maximum error is 1.2 e to the minus 2. The demo Euler function simply evaluates the numerical solution, prints a table, and returns the maximum value. We created a new function, demo Euler plot, which is very similar. It accepts a few more variable input arguments, the step size, the initial condition, and, and the total time interval, Tn. Uh, these values uh, are accept, we accept them as optional input arguments with the Nargin. We've created our right-hand side embedded function, and that we evaluate Euler's method returning the t and y. We have the exact function here. We're going to create the exact function uh, as an anonymous function here because it allows us to call it more than once in a very compact way. Now we're, now we're going to use y exact to evaluate the exact function. We're going to evaluate it at um, a range of values between min t and max t. So t is returned by ODE Euler. It will be a vector between 0 and t sub n, which is the last time in the interval. So min t would be 0, max t would be tn. We evaluate the exact solution. We also calculate 
GDE, which is the global discretization error. We'll discuss that later. Uh, we take the value of the function that was returned by Euler at the very last time, and then the exact value at of the function at that time. So what this does is GDE is just simply measuring the error at the last time step in the solution. We plot the solution, both the exact solution as TEYE, but also the values T, Y, zero, T and Y with open circles. Um, that T and Y were returned by the uh, Euler function up here. We also print out the global discretization error. Let's try it. Using the default values, demo Euler plot, we get this plot that shows a dashed red line for the exact solution and open circles for the numerical solution with Euler's method at a step size of 0.2. We could redo this with a smaller step size. I'll keep the uh, value of that one there. Figure, demo, Euler, plot. The default step size was 0.2. So we can reduce that. Let's let's double. Uh, let's cut it in half. Not point one. So now we have two solutions, one with uh, h as point one, and you can see there are more blue circles, which means there are more uh, numerical, which means that the Euler's method was evaluated more more points than the for, uh, the plot here to the right which we expect with a smaller step size. Uh, and we also have less distance between the points. Notice that we have our global error of minus 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2 for a step size of 0.2. Uh, we have that step size, and we get roughly half the error. Let's uh, try this again. This time, reduce the error again by a factor of 2. Reduce the step size again by a factor of 2. Now we have three solutions with uh, varying degrees of accuracy. The first one is with a step size of 0.2. The second one is a step size of 0.1. And the third is a step size of 0.05. So the Euler's method is definitely exhibiting the correct trend. As we reduce the step size, we reduce the error. And uh, that's evident just in the vertical distances here. It's also evident in the values of GDE that are returned uh, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2, 8.4 times 10 to the minus 3, and 4.4. It looks almost like it's a linear reduction in the error.